Today, I'll compare the two brand new Nike Mercurials to see which is the better one out of the Superfly 6 Elite and the Mercurial Vapor 12 Elite and ultimately also try and help you guys figuring out which of these two boots you should get. Let's kick it off by looking at the fit, which is basically the area that will set the two boots apart for most people. Now, both the Superfly 6 here and the Vapor 12 are made with a one-piece fly knit upper, but then the Superfly 6 also offers this high-cut dynamic fit color. And that means that you're simply more aware of the fact that you have this tight, compressed, knitted piece around your ankle at all times. And since it's so thin and stretches pretty nicely, it gives you a very seamless sensation around the lower part of your foot. On the other hand, it's not gonna give you any form of support. So it's simply that compressed feeling around your ankle that you should be looking for. It is a bit like comparing wearing normal socks to wearing ankle socks, because both are really nice. But that sensation of being aware that there's material around the ankle bone that closely hugs the lower part of the foot is pretty pleasant. Now, on the other side of the spectrum here, the Vapor 12 feels very free, which is also extremely nice, and you don't really notice how the boot transitions into that lower part of your foot. Now, another thing that needs to be said is that both the Superfly 6 and the Vapor 12 are relatively stiff out of the box, which means they took longer than I expected to really soften up. But once they did, they give you a very nice personal sensation that kind of tricked my brain into feeling well in sync with my foot. Now the touch on the ball is virtually the same in the Vapor and the Superfly. It's close, it's sharp, and you get a good pingy sensation when you strike the ball. And on top of that, there's decent grip and a pretty elegant low toe box on both of the boots. And the biggest difference I noticed was that on the Superfly, this area of the boot feels a little bit cleaner, simply because the transition from boot to foot happens higher up the ankle. So it feels like there's truly nothing in the way on the Superfly when you strike the ball. But the difference is so subtle that I really doubt a lot of people will actually notice. When it comes to the sole and the traction side of things, I'm gonna be very brief here because it's the same. Like, I didn't feel a single difference between the two boots. And that's probably because technically they are exactly the same. You still get this split sole here with an anatomical internal P-back chassis. And then you get the two nylon outsole parts on both of the boots that feature these here very aggressive chevron bladed studs that give you this amazingly aggressive traction whichever direction you decide to accelerate in. Still, one of the best sole plates on the market for speed on both the Superfly and the Vapor. Let's look at the facts for Vapor 12. It weighs 170 grams with a tight, seamless and pleasant fit. The striking is clean, close and pingy with a touch that's very barefoot-like and offers good grip. The sole blade is anatomical with bladed studs, but the board is a bit stiff at first and you won't get much protection. The price is 240 euros and the board combines the best of the old vapors with a better, more modern fit. The Superfly 6 weighs 188 grams with a sock-like fit and a compressed awareness around the ankle. The striking is true distractionless and close with a sharp and precise touch and solid grip. The sole plate is anatomical with bladed studs, but the Superfly is a bit stiff at first and you won't get much extra boot for the higher price. That price is 270 euros and the board is very similar to the Vapor with more compression around the ankle. So, which is better then? Well, personally, I would be leaning towards the free sensation of the Vapor, but in the end, it's all about which feeling you prefer. And of course, which of the two silhouettes you think is the coolest looking one? Because in truth, the Superfly and the Vapor have never been more similar. But which of the two boots would you choose, guys? Let me know down below, and don't forget to go and subscribe to see even more cool material stuff in the near future. And also, if you want to keep watching on YouTube, you should go and check out our Vapor 12 review by clicking right down here. Seriously, go watch it. It is a pretty sick video. So enjoy it. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.